What is up guys, back to you today with yet another Pokemon X and Y OU Wi-Fi battle video. Now today, I have a battle against Night Owl. He was from my stream, very nice person, very good battler. Um, looking at my team, more uh, UU today, not so much OU, um, but it's still very powerful nonetheless. So let's go ahead and get on into this video. Now guys, shirts are still on sale. There will be a link in the description. Definitely make sure you go pick one up because it is a limited edition run. Um, I do have to sell at least 20 of them for them to be for them to even be printed. So if I could sell at least 20, that would be amazing. And I know with all of you guys' support, not only on my YouTube and on Twitch, I know we can make it happen. But his elf is going to lead. Uh, go for the stealth rocks. I'm going to lead off my polytoad. I'm actually going to going to go for the hydro pump here just to try and do as much damage as I can. But he is actually focus ashed which is really unfortunate now i'm thinking that he's going to explode here and i don't want to take any damage on my polytoad so i actually go out into my trevenant predicting the explosion it would have been a very good play because then his elf would have died and nothing would have happened but he ends up going for energy ball which um is actually not that bad i mean it would have been awful if i left my polytoad in but uh you know i brought in trevenant so it wasn't that bad so now he's actually going to go out into his charizard as I go for the Horn Leech, now it's a very good play on his part. Um, I, I should have went for Shadow Claw, but uh, I was just trying to get some HP back. So it, either way, if he would have left his Elf in, I would have got minimal HP back and probably got a little bit more with the Charizard in. So I'm actually going to switch out now, going to go out into my Regicock, um, and he's actually Charizard X. Now I was thinking that he was going to be Y, which is why I went out into my Regirock. Because, you know, a Fire Blast wouldn't have done anything. But he's actually just going to Mega Evolve into X. Go for the, um, the Stealth Rocks there. He's actually going to go for Will-O-Wisp. He misses. And I'm able to get off a of Bulldoze, which is quite nice. Because it's going to lower his speed in one stage. And you're probably thinking, why Bulldoze over Earthquake? Um, speed Drop. That's the, the really the only reason why I have that. So he's actually going to go out into his Elf now. Very good play. He does have the Levitate. Uh, I do not want to take an energy ball, so I'm actually going to switch out and go back out into my Trevenant so that I can easily eat up that energy ball or whatever he wants to do. Unfortunately, now I'm going to be taking Stealth Rocks damage, but he's actually going to get off the taunt on my Trevenant, but that's okay because the only the only moves that uh, the only non-attacking moves I have on my Trevenant are Will-O-Wisp and Rest, and I'm actually just going to go for the Shadow Claw here as he sends out his Rotom H. Um, it's not going to be doing too much. He's fairly defensive, which is uh, actually kind of surprising to me. Probably a Rotom Wash, and then he's just like, I want to go Rotom Heat. I didn't feel like re EV training or whatever. I'm going to go out to my Politoed now, get the rain back up, because I know that he's most likely going to go for the Overheat here, and I don't want to deal with that. And he actually goes for the Volt Switch. I got played. He, uh, you know, I predicted wrong. I over predicted, I suppose. And uh, I didn't over predict, I under predicted. There we go. He's going to go out into Charizard now. Going to hit me up with that Dragon Claw. Unfortunately, it is going to kill my Politoed. But my rain is up. Uh, and now I'm going to go out into Speedy Gonzalez, which is actually not really that speedy. So I don't. This, it's Mega Garchomp, but I don't want to Mega Evolve just yet. Um, I knew that he was probably going to send out his Rotom um, to try and avoid the Earthquake here. Um, so I actually went for the Stone Edge because if he stayed in with Charizard uh, or switched on to Rotom, either way I would still be doing damage to it. But he sends out Rotom, I go for the Stone Edge, then I hit him up with the Dragon Claw, and it's an easy KO. It dropped uh, something, I apologize. But he's going to go out into Dawn Fan now. Um, if he has Ice Shard, I know I can live one. Um, so I'm just going to go for Earthquake. He actually carries Poison Jab. Which is really unfortunate for him because he is actually going to be making contact with me. Taking the rough, kit, rough skin damage on top of the earthquake damage that I'm dealing to him each and every turn. Um, now here he starts making uh, a better option and is going to go for the um, earthquake. Which is going to be doing a heck of a lot more. Earthquake is a lot more has a lot more power to it and it's stabbed. So it's going to be doing a lot more than Poison Jab would have been doing. Now he's going to go out into his elf. I was actually afraid uh, that he was going to kill me here, but I live with 16 HP, 
Gonna get off a of Dragon Claw. Easily gonna KO that as Elf. And there's not too many things that he has left here. The rain is gone. It's gone for good. He's going to go out into Dragonite now, which I am actually really scared about. So I'm going to switch out. I don't want to take an Extreme Speed. I don't want to take a Dragon Claw. I don't want to take any of that. So I'm going to go out into my Trevenant here. Um, in case he wants to Dragon Dance um, and possibly, uh, you know, me get off a Will-O-Wisp on the next turn. So he is going to end up Dragon Dancing, which isn't a problem. Um, but like I said, it was too risky staying in in case he had the extreme speed. So he's actually going to go for another Dragon Dance. That way he he knows he's going to be able to outspeed my um, my Garchomp for sure. Um, and I'm getting I get the Will-O-Wisp off, and he has a Lumberry. I know, right? And now he's going to go for the Outrage plus two Outrage. Easily gonna take out my Trevenant. There's no doubt about that, especially because I'm not defensive. I'm actually specially defensive So now I'm going to go out into Ryuko Michael Balian. I know that he is locked into Outrage and uh, You know, there's not too much to worry about because I do resist it But it's still going to be doing quite a bit of damage to me because he is at plus two easily a two at KO I'm going to get off the Iron Head here. I just wanted to get some damage off. There wasn't really too much I could do. I knew that he would outspeed and I wouldn't get the flinch, but that's okay. Because I did, I was able to break the multi-scale. Now he is, like I said, locked in outrage. He is actually going to get the three-turn outrage and KO Michael Bellion, which is really unfortunate because, you know, having this thing around would have been quite helpful in this battle, but that's okay. And I'm going to go out into my Regirock once again. Because there's not really, uh, I need to keep my Garchomp alive. Sorry, I don't know why I keep forgetting that thing's name. And he gets off the Earthquake. He breaks through the Confusion, gets off the Earthquake. Definitely going to kill my Reggie Rock, which is rather unfortunate again. Because, you know, there's not much I can do. So now I'm going to go out into Nacho Libre, which is my nice and powerful Halucha. Now, I don't expect him to break through... The confusion this turn and he doesn't he is at plus two so hitting himself is going to be doing a heck of a lot more damage um i'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and go for the sky attack um that way i can uh get rid of my power herb and trigger mind burden um regardless uh whether sky attack hits or not i can easily kill it with an acrobatics next turn but i do hit i take it out i am hella fast right now double my speed just gonna go for a high jump kick easily gonna oh I almost spoke too soon. And he's going to get off a of Will-O-Wisp. Wow, I cannot believe that. I forgot. I thought I killed him. Maybe. I, I think he was bulky Zard. Obviously, he is because he just Will-O-Wisp. But I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I've been doing homework. I just want school to be over. Somebody help me, please. So I'm just going to go for Acrobatics here. Uh, and it's going to be doing a decent amount to that Tentacruel considering I am burnt. Um, burnt. I'm burnt. I'm toasted. Toasted and roasted. Just like a Subway sandwich. I'm just going to go for Sky Attack here. He is going to get off the Scald this turn. Which is almost going to kill me. He's going to get some Black Sludge. And I'm going to take some Burn Damage. Because I'm, like I said, I'm nice burnt. Toasted. And he carries the Protect. So that's rather unfortunate. Um... So there's not really too much I can do at this point. You know, all I really have left is my Garchomp. Um, and I'm kind of afraid that this Tentacruel might outspeed me. Tentacruel does have 100 base speed. Uh, so it is a fairly fast Pokemon. Um, but I'm not going to Mega Evolve just yet. Because I need the extra 2 points in speed to be able to outspeed his Charizard. Now I do get a critical hit on that Tentacruel. If he's Bolt, if he was defensive... Uh, it probably mattered, but if he's not, then obviously it didn't. So I know <laughs> his Charizard has like 10 HP. I'm just going to Mega Evolve. You keep your speed the same turn you Mega Evolve. And I'm going to go for the most powerful move I have. Uh, and take out that Charizard. <laughs> uh, very good Battle Night Owl. Very good. But like I said, guys, shirts are still on sale. They will be on sale all the way up until 11.59 p.m. on May 7th. Like I said, I do have to sell 20 of those for them to even be printed. 
So we really, we, we have to make it happen. We have to. I know we can. Um, Aya, one of uh, my good friends who's at almost all of my streams, she has purchased one already. She's the first person to purchase one. Uh, and she told me to tell you all to go buy one because today is her birthday or her birthday. She said it was her birthday. So I would assume that it is her birthday. Um, and she said to go buy one. So, so fulfill her birthday wish. Head on over. The link is in the description. The annotations won't link to it for some stupid reason because YouTube is stupid. And and I, I really do appreciate whether you buy a shirt or not. Whether you're just a subscriber and you don't want to donate, you don't want to buy a shirt, I still appreciate you. So, so don't feel bad if you can't buy a shirt or if you can't donate. Because I still appreciate you being a sub. But anyways, guys. New video tomorrow. Live stream tomorrow. Live stream Saturday. Live stream Friday night. Yada, yada, yada. You guys know the dealio. And we'll see you next time, alright? Peace out.